So how do we pick up an IFR clearance at a pilot-controlled, uncontrolled airport? What is happening, M Missouri Nation? Jason Schapper here on the ground at the Auburn Airport. It's not quite IFR. Let's listen to the weather here together, but I definitely want to get my clearance ahead of time, and Auburn has no tower. It's an uncontrolled, pilot-controlled airport. Sky condition Let's listen. broken. Two. Thousand five hundred overcast three thousand. Oh, not IFR. Temperature but one low seven. enough that especially Celsius. in this airplane climbing out, you're Two going to want to have your clearance one, quickly one. so you can do it. Celsius. So how do we actually Celsius. pull that off? We have the information here. We've got all that. Everything else is set and looking good. What we're going to do is, and let me um, make sure I'm screen recording here so you can see all of what I'm doing. Let's head over and let's look. If I go to info. I can look at clearance, and this is not always the right frequency, but let's look and see. So I'm at Auburn University. It says 118.7, so let's try that. Let's go over to 118.7. Let's flip-flop over. It says Auburn clearance there. Let's, uh, let's see. Let me get a scratch pad ready. Like we talked about, kind of thinking ahead, I know I'm going to APF. Don't know my route, mount to be climb, maintain blank, expect blank, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency will start with a one. I don't know my transponder squat code. Let's call this up and let's just see what happens. If not, we can always call. Right, Victor Charlie, contact Jacksonville Center 134.45. Good day. Sounds like it works. I wonder who that would be. So uh, let's look. What are the other? Um, Atlanta probably. 86 went up, Tango, four cancellation. I find this frequency in there. As soon as you can on the ground, 118.7. Change the five frequency is approved. Let them know where we are on the ground. Atlanta, Sears 515, Sierra Charlie, on the ground at Auburn, IFR to Naples, ready to copy. Number 976 here, around the Atlanta bridge, Columbus altimeter 2973. Number one up at Tango, you copy that. You said you're going to cancel in the air or on the ground? Hear him. I wonder how well he can hear me. Looks like a 36K, by the way. Number 86 went off Tango. Thank you. Cancellation off RC. Brace says terminate. Squawk VFR. Frequency change approved. Have a good day. All right. I got to go up with different frequencies here. Who's on the ground at Auburn looking for an IFR clearance? That's 515 Sierra Charlie. IFR to Naples. Ready to copy. Number 515 Sierra Charlie. Cleared to Naples Airport as filed. On departure. Maintain 3,000. Expect 9 or 1,000 within one zero minutes. Departure frequency 126.55, block 3347, hold for release. All right, Naples as filed, 3,000, 9,010, 126.55, 3347, and we're hold for release. We need a little bit of taxi anyways. Number 515, Sierra Charlie, Rebecca is correct. Which one we depart on for ready to go? Looks like 36, I need about 10 minutes, please. Number 5, Sierra Charlie, Roger, hold for release, advisor, number one, ready to go. We'll advise number one, 515, Sierra Charlie. Number 177, Bravo, Let's go back Atlanta, to Unicom. I'll explain everything in just a second. And Auburn, Sears 515, Sierra Charlie's taxiing from the ramp to 36 for departure. Auburn. Uh, Auburn, traffic airport, vehicle cross from runway 1129 to Bravo. We'll pop out over this way. So what just happened there? So we called. He was working two frequencies, as you could tell. Came back to me eventually. I advised. I, you notice I told him where I was. I'm on the ground at Auburn. Oh, I, Travis, I, I have hard to Naples. Cross wind uh, runway at 36. Just making sure everyone's playing nice using 36. Um, I, we were patient. He came back to me. He said, hold for release. Sometimes you'll get what's called an expect for their clearance time. Um, all, all those things can, can happen sometimes, not, not all the time here. But that's just something to, uh, uh, to note and to, uh, to realize. I mean, oh, Travis Scott, 416, left down on right, 36, over. We're trying to avoid that helicopter there. Same phone he's picked up. Hopper traffic helicopter, step Bravo off of taxi from the south end of the FBO to the north via Charlie. I was watching him. All right, he's out of the way. That's great. He's hover taxiing over there. So he told me to advise him, number one, I can't just go take off. So I, I told him I needed 10 minutes. You don't always have to do that. Sometimes, Auburn's really busy today. Sometimes I'll do all that at the end of the runway, like run up complete, ready to go. But Auburn's so busy today. There's, there's a few taxis behind me, that helicopter head on here. You kind of need to know when you're number one. So I'm, I usually don't wait till I'm there. I'll do it back there and just tell him, hey, I need 10 minutes. And they're, they're pretty cool. Um, 
with that. And really, he just said, advise me when you're number one. And again, did I need to do it that way? No, I probably could have picked it up in the air. Uh, but instead, I chose to do it that way because the way this thing climbs, you're going to be up there uh, pretty, pretty quick. All right. We're taxi on out. We can start getting everything kind of queued up here. I'm direct to Naples. Believe that I filed direct to Naples and got it. We'll see how long that lasts, though. How long do you think that's going to last? K A P F. Easy little flight plan to get in there. Climb maintain 3,000. Up to 3,000, 9 or 1,010. My departure frequency is 12655. I'll get that after I switch. Actually, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think ahead here. I'll get down on two just so I'm, I'm more ahead. Oh, for sure, Scott. 2655. Five. I'll get that on two. So I don't need the ATIS anymore. So I got, oh, what I'll do is I'll flip flop over to two when I'm ready for that. Because I still want to keep this frequency here. I still want to keep 18.7 because that's what he told me to advise him on. Um, and I've got that there. Though he may be working 18.7 and 12655. Two, two, I, I don't know. Um, he probably is, if I had to guess, but just to, just to confirm. Um, I'd rather just contact them where we were last speaking, um, as far as that goes. Transponders 3347. 3347. I'm going to get to the end of the runway here. I'm going to do my engine run up, and we'll pick it right back up when I switch back over. I'm going to leave CTAF. I'll go to 187, tell number one. I'll go back to CTAF, make my departure, and then I go over to 12655. That makes sense? All right, let me finish this taxi here so this video is not too long. I'm going to do my run-up. We're going to, we'll cut all that out of the video, though. We'll pick it right up when I am number one about ready to make that call. All right, I am run-up complete. I haven't heard anybody else around Auburn. I'm going to give them a ring here quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip-flop uh, back up top to 18.7. And clearance, Sears 515, Sierra Charlie's number one, runway 36 at Auburn. Sears 515, Sierra Charlie, uh, release for departure, Wingfield Airspace, right turn on course, maintain 3,000, clearance void, if not off in five minutes. Clearance void, if not off in five minutes, and it's a right turn on course, 515, Sierra Charlie, thank you. 515, Sierra Charlie, Rebecca is correct, change device frequencies approved, traffic short, final runway 11. Thank you, 515, Sierra Charlie. Alpha, Auburn. Listen to advisory again, because we're just off frequency. He chose traffic short final for 11. watching. I don't see it. They'll be out here on the downwind. Looks good. Back on advisories. Everything's set. It's good. Got my next frequency ready. We'll just switch to two. Double check final. And Auburn traffic. Sears 515 Sierra Charlie's departing runway 36 uh, to out to the south at Auburn. Auburn traffic. 861 Alpha Tango turning left. Base for runway 36. Auburn. I got them in sight. I think that's who he was talking about. He thought they were on file for 1-1, one, one, but I think that's who he was, because that's what I saw on ADSB. Just turned their base. That's fine. Notice he gave me a right turnout out of a pilot-controlled field, which is not super common, but again, I'm IFR. Good, good. Tank set, boost pumps on, mixture's rich. Confirm 3-6 outside. All looks good. Airspeed's alive. Auburn traffic, Skyhawk, 861 Alpha Tango, turning final for an A3. just confirm, green, green, green. Life looks good. Rotation speed. There she is, and here she comes. A little bit of wind. Tap my brakes real quick. Clear of obstacles, flaps. Flaps coming up. I'll make a departure leg call and then a turnout call, just so everybody knows. And Auburn Traffic Series 515 Sierra Charlie's on the departure leg will be a right turnout to the south off of 36 Auburn. Again, that's not typical. That's why I'm saying that. And that's what they gave us as well. All right, look good. Confirm. Caps, flaps. All good. Still going to hand fly in here for a bit. Could I have switched over and grabbed my clearance now? Yeah, I probably could have. But it's a lot to do. He wants to make a right turnout. We're going to start that right turnout. Still hand flying it. Goodbye, Auburn. And Auburn traffic, Sears 515, Sierra Charlie's making a right turnout out to the south, Auburn. I don't typically make a, hey, last call. A lot of people do that. I used to do that. It doesn't really benefit anybody. 
Um, I'll listen for just another second, and then we're going to go over to two. Everyone, one two zero one zero. You want to do it from Weebub? Permit everyone to move to I'm going to get everything queued up. Just Keep listen for a bit here. Report established. Autopilot's coming on. Nav mode. And let's give them a call. Atlanta departure, Sears 515, Sierra Charlie, 2700, climb 3000. Sears 515, Sierra Charlie, Atlanta approach, ident, climb and maintain 9000. Ident up to 9000, 515, Sierra Charlie. Good timing. I gave him an ident. 515, Sierra Charlie, rate of contact, 2 miles northeast, off an airport, Columbus altimeter 2973. 2973, thank you, 515, Sierra Charlie. And just like that, we picked up IFR departing a pilot-controlled, uncontrolled airport. Did I need to? Oh, the clouds were kind of high enough, but do you want to be scrambling now, low underneath the clouds, trying to contact Atlanta when they're super busy, your hand flying this thing, whatever it is, it's just much easier to grab it on the ground. So now you have another tool for your IFR flying to use. Hey, did anybody learn anything at all today? Leave me a comment down below in the video. Have a blessed, abundant, outstanding rest of your day. And most importantly, remember, good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you.